I will show you how to build a web browser using ChatGPT. You do not have to write the code, ChatGPT will write all code for us. To follow along, you will need Python installed and the Qt Py extension. I will ask ChatGPT to write code for a web browser using Python and Qt Py. Though I am saying Qt Py it is spelled as PYQT. ChatGPT has generated some Python code and I will copy this code. It also explains what this code does, but I will focus only on the code. I want to see if I can use this code as it is. I am using VS Code as the code editor and will open a new Python file. I will call this file browser.py. I will paste the code and save it. Remember to save after pasting, otherwise it will not work. I am in the directory where the code is. You can see the browser.py here. I will run the code by the command python3 and then the file name. A nice small browser has been opened. It is very basic and has Google open in it. The reason Google search is here because it is that in the code, ChatGPT wrote code to open google.com in the browser window. It is a functional basic browser where you can surf the web. I can Google search and follow the results. I can click the links and it will take me to that page. All is fine, but there is no way to get back. Also I cannot navigate to a site by typing its URL as there is no URL bar. In the description of the generated code, ChatGPT mentioned this issue, saying it is a basic web browser that lacks navigation control or an address bar. As ChatGPT can remember the current conversation, I will ask it to add navigation controls and an address bar to the previous code. It generated lots of code this time, and I will follow the same process. I will copy the code and replace the previous code. Do not forget to save each time you make a change, otherwise it will show the old result. I will run it in the command line. Oh ho, this time I have got an error. Do not worry when the ChatGPT generated code does not work. ChatGPT is able to fix the errors it produces. I will copy this error and paste it into ChatGPT. From the current context of the conversation, ChatGPT will be able to answer the fix. ChatGPT gave a fix, and I will try to run this code. Please bear in mind, error fix from ChatGPT can take several tries. It is now showing another error. At the beginning of your programming learning, it can be frustrating, but if you keep trying you will succeed. I will give ChatGPT more details about the error it just produced. It only gave me the portion of the code that needed to be fixed. That can work for experienced people, but for newbies, it would work best if ChatGPT could give the full working code. So I ask for that. The same copy, paste, and run process, and the previous error returned. You have to keep asking ChatGPT until it produces the working code. I know this code will not work as it missed the import statements. I asked it to include that in the code. The same copy, paste, run process, and it seems we have got a shorter code this time. ChatGPT servers can be overloaded sometimes, and it can stop answering in the middle of a conversation. Executing the half-given code does not produce any error but does not show the browser also. You may be wondering if it will be able to write functional code again. But keep trying, and you will be successful in getting a working version. ChatGPT's ability to correct its own mistake is something that makes it special. I asked it about seeing nothing in the output, and it has given me some checkpoints. The first checkpoint asks to make sure the back.png file is present. But I have no such file in my directory. I will say I don't have such a file. It comes from the training model of ChatGPT. It should give me the full code without those images. The same copy, paste, run process. Still the error exists, but keep trying. If ChatGPT is successful in giving a working code even after some failure, it will be a win as we don't have to write all the code by ourselves. It stopped generating code halfway, so I asked to regenerate the code. It again failed to generate the full code 
so I will ask why it is stopping in the middle. It keeps apologizing and generating code. This time it was able to generate the full code. How do you know it generated the full code and not stopped midway? If you see some instructional text after the code, then it means ChatGPT was able to complete the answer. Let's see if the code works this time. I guess you are getting impatient, seeing it fail over and over. The web browser is launched successfully this time. You can search and browse as expected in a web browser. I will browse through some of the links to see if the back and forward button is working. It is working as it should. It also has an address bar, so we should be able to visit a website by typing its URL. It is quite impressive that you can build this kind of app just by asking ChatGPT. Though the experience was not smooth as it gave erroneous code a few times. But it will make your learning process faster than the traditional route of reading, understanding, and then writing and executing. If you are already experienced in programming, it will make your job easier as you get ready-made code for mundane or repetitive tasks. You can also investigate through the code it produced. You may ask if it is really a web browser or just a window of the browser our machine has. It is actually a QWeb Engine View widget. The widget is built on top of the Chromium project, which is also used to build Google Chrome. ChatGPT also answers it is not a fully functional web browser, but it is good enough to start fun projects. I hope to make some more interesting ChatGPT tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you next.